Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalayam Engineering College, Kovil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again through the video lecture on gas power cycles. This is lecture number 2 on the gas power cycle. We are going to discuss about the diesel cycle and the topic to be covered here is diesel cycle. The gas and efficiency of the diesel cycle and the mean effective pressure of diesel cycle. We recap from the previous lecture. So, in the previous lecture, we discussed about the auto cycle. We derived the efficiency of the auto cycle and mean effective pressure of auto cycle. In a similar fashion, we work for diesel cycle and the learning outcome for this lecture at the end of the lecture the student will be able to summarize the diesel cycle processes. So, this is a Bloom's level 2, derive the efficiency and the mean effective pressure of the diesel cycle. This is also Bloom's level 2. Bloom's level 2 is understanding. And the diesel cycle was developed by Rudolf Diesel in the year 1890 after the petrol after the invention of the petrol engine petrol cycle diesel cycle is the ideal cycle for compression ignition reciprocating engine or diesel engine all the diesel engines they are working on the diesel cycle whether this two stroke cycle engine or four stroke cycle engine look at the pv and ts diagram pressure volume temperature entropy diagram of diesel cycle there are again four processes one to two isentropic process 2 to 3 constant pressure process, constant pressure heat addition process, uh, 3 to 4 again isentropic process, expansion process and 4 to 1 constant volume heat rejection process. So, 1 to 2 isentropic compressor, 2 to 3 constant pressure heat addition, 3 to 4 isentropic expansion and uh, 4 to 1 constant volume heat rejection. So, there is one constant volume process, one constant pressure process and two constant entropy process. So, the compression and expansion they are constant entropy processes. And uh, the process, so the isentropic compression, reversible constant pressure heat addition, isentropic expansion, reversible constant volume heat rejection, all the four processes. What is the variation of the parameter? For isentropic compression, pressure increases from P1 to P2, volume decreases from V1 to V2, temperature increases from T1 to T2 and the entropy remains constant. For reversible constant pressure heat addition, pressure is constant. So, look at here P2 equal to P3 and the volume increases. So, volume increases from V2 to V3, temperature increases and entropy increases. Isentropic expansion, pressure decreases from P3 to P4. Volume increases from V3 to V4, temperature decreases from T3 to T4 and the entropy remains constant S3 equal to S4. And reversible constant volume heat rejection, so the pressure decreases from P4 to P1, decreases, pressure decreases, volume remains constant, temperature decreases and the entropy decreases for the heat rejection process. So, these are the four processes of the diesel cycle. Now, the heat supplied, so heat supplied at constant pressure, so MCP into T3 minus T2 and the heat rejected at constant volume, uh, MCV into T4 minus T1. Now, the efficiency of the diesel cycle is given as eta D equal to net to work done divided by the heat supplied. So, from first law of thermodynamics, net to work done equal to net heat supplied. So, heat supplied minus heat rejected divided by heat supplied equal to 1 minus heat rejected divided by the heat supplied equal to 1 minus heat rejected equal to MCV into T4 minus T1 divided by heat supplied equal to MCP into T3 minus T2. So, M is cancelled. So, we have CP. We take CV to the denominator. This becomes CP by CV which is gamma. So, 1 minus T4 minus T1 divided by gamma into T3 minus T2. So, the CV is taken to the denominator which gives Cp by Cv equal to gamma. Now, we have to simplify, simplify the equation in terms of measurable parameter. So, what is measurable parameter? The compression ratio, 
because temperature is very difficult to measure at the end of each process. So, we convert the equation into measurable quantity. So, first process adiabatic compression process we have T2 by T1 equal to V1 by V2 to the power gamma minus 1 where V1 by V2 already we defined in the auto cycle which is compression ratio R to the power gamma minus 1. So, from this equation T2 equal to T1 into R to the power gamma minus 1. So, we take this T2 in terms of T1. Now, for constant pressure process 2 to 3, so we have T3 by T2 equal to V3 by V2. So, V3 by V2 equal to RC, cutoff ratio. So, V3 is the volume after heat addition, V2 is the volume before heat addition. So, this is RC, cutoff ratio. So, T3 equal to T2 into RC. So, substitute for T2 from the previous equation. So, T2 equal to T1 into R to the power gamma minus 1. So, substituting T3 becomes T1 into R to the power gamma minus 1 into RC. So, look at here T1 in terms of T2 in terms of T1, T3 in terms of T1. Now, the adiabatic expansion process. T4 by T3 equal to V4 by V3 to the power gamma minus 1. So, we know that V4 equal to V1 for constant volume process V4 equal to V4 equal to V1. So, for V4 equal to V1, I replace V3 by V1, multiply and, multiply and divide by V2. So, V2 by V2. Now, V3 by V2 equal to RC. V1 by V, V2 by V1 equal to 1 by R. So, R equal to V1 by V2. So, this V2 by V1 equal to 1 by R. So, this becomes RC by R to the power gamma minus 1. So, T4 equal to T3 into RC by R to the power gamma minus 1. T3, we substitute from the previous equation. So, T3 equal to T1 R to the power gamma minus 1 into RC. So, T1 R to the power gamma minus 1 into RC into RC by R to the power gamma minus 1. So, simplifying, look at here, we have R to the power gamma minus 1 in the numerator, RC to the power gamma minus 1 divided by R to the power gamma minus 1 in the denominator, these two are cancelled. So, what is left out? T1 into RC to the power 1, RC to the power gamma minus 1. So, finally, it will be T1 RC to the power gamma. T4 equal to T1 RC to the power gamma. Now, the efficiency equation, we take the efficiency equation once again. So, eta equal to 1 minus T4 by T1, T4 minus T1 divided by gamma into T3 minus T2. You substitute for T4. So, T4 equal to T1 RC to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma T3 equal to T1 R to the power gamma minus 1 into RC and T2 equal to T1 R to the power gamma minus 1. In all the four terms, we have T1. So, T1 is cancelled. In the denominator, we have R to the power gamma minus 1, R to the power gamma minus 1. I take R to the power gamma minus 1 common denominator. So, 1 by R to the power gamma minus 1. In the numerator, what is left out? RC to the power gamma minus 1. In the denominator, gamma is there. And uh, R to the power gamma is taken out, RC minus 1. So, gamma into RC minus 1. So, efficiency of diesel cycle equal to 1 minus 1 by R to the power gamma minus 1 into RC to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into RC minus 1. And uh, if you look at this equation, one thing you can immediately recognize. So, the first term 1 by 1 minus R to, 1 by R to the power gamma minus 1 is efficiency of the auto cycle. Efficiency auto cycle in the second term it is multiplied with the parameter RC to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into RC minus 1. Now the efficiency of the diesel cycle depends on three parameter. One is R compression ratio, second is RC cutoff ratio, third is gamma the adiabatic index. Now we see how the parameters are varying. We take the efficiency. And this is how the efficiency is changing with respect to the compression ratio and the cutoff ratio for constant value of gamma. Gamma equal to 1.4 for air. So, when the compression ratio is increasing for a given cutoff ratio, efficiency increases. 
when the cutoff ratio increases the efficiency decreases so look at this ratio when rc equal to 1 the cycle becomes auto cycle when rc equal to 1 so this rc to the power uh, 1 so 1 minus 1 so this becomes this is dropped so the cycle becomes auto cycle now the quantity rc to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into rc minus 1 is always greater than 1. So, this value is always greater than 1. When this is always greater than 1, for the same compression ratio, the efficiency of the auto cycle is greater than diesel cycle. For the same, remember, for the same compression ratio, but in general, Diesel cycle is working on, diesel engine they are working on compression ratio, look at here 12 to 23, whereas the petrol engine or auto cycle, the compression ratio is between 7 to 10. So, the diesel cycle they are working with the higher cut, higher compression ratio for a engine, diesel engine, the efficiency is higher than the petrol engine. For cycle, Diesel cycle, when the compression ratio is the same, R value is the same, auto cycle will have the higher efficiency. Numerically, we will prove. We take R equal to 9, compression ratio equal to 9 and RC equal to 2, a simple numerical value. Efficiency of auto cycle, 1 minus 1 by R to the power gamma minus 1 equal to 1 minus 1 by 9 to the power 1.4 minus 1 equal to 58.47 percentage. And efficient diesel cycle, 1 minus 1 by R to the power gamma minus 1 into RC to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into RC minus 1. Substitute 1 minus 1 by 9 to the power 1.4 minus 1 into 2 to the power 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4 into 2 minus 1 which is 51.4 percentage. For the same compression ratio, the effect of RC, when, the, when you have RC value, the efficiency decreases. But when the RC value decreases, the efficiency increases. So, look at the RC value 4, 3, 2, 1. The efficiency is decreasing. Now, efficiency of auto cycle is greater than efficient diesel cycle for the given for the same compression ratio. This condition you have to remember for the same compression ratio. And we derive the net work output of the diesel cycle. So, we derive. So, net work output equal to P2 into V3 minus V2 area under the PV diagram is the net to work done. So, plus P3 V3 minus P4 V4 divided by gamma minus 1 minus P2 V2 minus P1 V2 divided by gamma minus 1 and uh, simplifying we will get net to work done equal to P1 V1 R to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1 into gamma into RC minus 1 minus R to the power 1 minus gamma into RC to the power gamma minus 1 and the mean effective pressure of the diesel cycle is given by. So, we, uh, we discuss mean effective pressure equal to net to work output divided by the swept volume a uh, stroke volume. So, this equation you have to remember for solving the problem. We are not going to use the complicated mathematical equation. We take the simple equation net to work done divided by the swept volume. So, MEP substituting and simplifying P1 into RC R to the power gamma into RC minus 1 minus R into RC to the power gamma minus 1 divided by R minus 1 into gamma minus 1. So, mean effective pressure and the work done efficiency. So, what you have to remember in the diesel cycle, the four processes of the diesel cycle, the efficiency of the diesel cycle and the efficiency, the compression ratio is between uh, 12 to 23 for diesel cycle and the efficiency of the auto cycle is greater than diesel cycle for the same compression ratio. When the cutoff ratio decreases, the efficiency will in efficiency of the diesel cycle will increase. These are all the points that you have to remember. Now, we have a reflection spot. We have to answer few questions based on our discussion. The first question, the air standard diesel cycle comprises two constant volume processes and two constant entropy processes, two constant pressure processes and two constant entropy processes, one constant volume process one constant volume process, one constant pressure process and two constant entropy processes, none of the above. So, you have to select the best answer, correct answer. So, if you have selected the C, option C, one constant volume process and one constant pressure process and two constant entropy process, uh, you are correct.
and consider air standard auto cycle and diesel cycle both having the same state of air at the start of compression and the same compression ratio uh, select the correct statement efficiency of auto cycle is greater than efficiency of diesel cycle efficiency of auto cycle is less than efficiency of diesel cycle efficiency of auto cycle equal to efficiency of diesel cycle none of the above for the same compression ratio and same inlet condition of the air Efficiency of the auto cycle is greater than efficiency of the diesel cycle. And the next question, for the same compression ratio with the increase of cutoff ratio, with the increase of cutoff ratio, the efficiency of diesel cycle is, the answer is decreases. For the same compression ratio, increase of cutoff ratio will decrease the efficiency of the diesel cycle. And in, in an air standard diesel cycle, the compression ratio is 12 and the cutoff ratio is 1.8. The specific heat ratio of air is 1.4. The efficiency of diesel cycle is, we have four options, 65.3, 67.8, 15.9, 72.6. So, we take the equation, efficiency of the diesel cycle equal to 1 minus 1 by R to the power gamma minus 1 into rc to the power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into rc minus 1 equal to 1 minus 1 by 12 power 1.4 minus 1 into 1.8 to the power 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4 into 1.8 minus 1. Solving the equation, the answer is 57.8 percentage. The correct answer is 57.8 percentage. So, we stop here and these are all the reference books that you have to follow uh, for additional information. I have published a book on thermal engineering, you can refer to it or you can refer to other books what is mentioned here for additional information. I close the session with a quote from Dr. Abdul Kalam, dream is not which you see while sleeping, it is something that does not let you sleep. So, you work hard for your better future and these are all the books I have published earlier in various subjects. Design of thermodynamic, design of transmission system, turbo machines, heat and mass transfer, operations research, gas dynamics and jet propulsion, thermal engineering and the fluid mechanics and machines. And I have published the very lectures on various subjects through the YouTube channel uh, and the gate solution is also uploaded in the YouTube channel. You subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you, will, you, you can visit all the video lectures which will be useful for your better learning in mechanical engineering subject. So, thank you for watching. You please post your comments on the comments box in the YouTube video, which will be useful for improvement. And you can contact me through my mail ID or WhatsApp number for any further information. We will meet again. Thank you.